like that. So with me, um, we're going to be the, the biology and ESS. Some of you may do even biology and geography. Those, and if you're doing biology and geography, that's double bonus for going to, to TM. Uh, but whatever even you're doing, just, just biology, just ESS, the, what you can get from the, the actual trip, not just in terms of um, the, the methods, in terms of getting data for your internal assessment, but also just being able to see. Uh, I think kind of one of the best, best ways of learning is to actually see it. And so rather than being from a book all the time or a presentation, uh, you're actually going out there and seeing, seeing things in the field. Um, so, and it, it, the good thing about Tiamen, it offers, offers a, a huge range of different uh, environments and ecosystems to, to look at. Right. So, as you can see there, on, on this bit here, however, what we do there can gain you information and data that's going to go towards 20, between 20 and 25 percent of your final grade. So, it's kind of worth doing it well. Right. So, as I said, these are... So we're going to be going, or, well, it could be different people. So there, in fact, uh, you'll have specialists, specialist biologists, specialist geographers, specialists that, uh, you know, for, for each of the different groups we're going to be going with. So there'll be different people uh, with geography, with biology, and with ESS. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and uh, in terms of the, the background of eco field trips, uh, this is the fourth time I, I'd have gone with. with Eco field trips, and um, the reason we keep coming back is basically because they can offer a huge amount uh, for us in terms of um, making sure that that it's, uh, everything is done safely, um, everything is done uh, like efficiently. Uh, the and we know that the kind of data we're going to be getting uh, will be very relevant. So. I said I, I keep coming back because of uh, what's what's actually happened in the past and the good data and good internal assessments my students have done in the past. So, uh, and they've had a lot of experience since 1997, which is 20 years, 20 years now. I can't believe 97, 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so. Um, uh, and and so they, they do have a large team, uh, and, and again, from this team, they, they choose who are relevant to go with this trip for us, what we exactly we want. Right. So, you know, I think I kind of probably said to have Will, who looks a proper geographer there, <laughs> proper beard right, and, and hat. As, as I might even grow a beard, especially for this trip. <laughs> but the only problem is now I can't grow a beard because it's white. Uh, so, <laughs> maybe not. Um, uh, and I think kind of I've worked with, with cats here before, uh, but who coming? We're not 100 percent certain yet, but that kind of will change. So where are we going? Um, the the way it works is that we we have to be here at about half five in the morning. Uh, we get on a bus, um, get over into Malaysia, and then we just keep going past. Uh, all the areas where that used to be rainforest but are now palm, uh, <laughs> they're, they're just kind of that, the palms, uh, right the way up through here, over to to uh, Messing, where we'll wait and then get the ferry over to, to Genting, which is down here uh, on the south of, of Tiamen Island. Um, there is a, the, the, the main town there is up in Tekek, uh, but there's a, a smaller, this is one of the, the ports. Uh, we, we go to near to where we're staying. So, this is where we stay. We go to Messi. I, I, I doubt it's that ferry. No. It could no, be. It could be. be. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Uh, but they're fast and they're, they're, kind of, they're, they're efficient. Uh, and in fact, they, the air conditioning is always too high. So, that's one thing I'd recommend. Bring, uh, bring something warm. Uh, I was freezing the first time I went there. So this is where we stay, the, the, the Molina Beach Resort. Um, I know this is probably where you, your parents might want to come along, but uh, when they see this, it is a, a, a fantastic resort. Um, what's nice about it is that we are going there for environmental eco reasons. And this is an, an 
eco-friendly resort. When we're there, we will also see resorts that aren't quite as eco-friendly. Um, and, in, in, you know, and, and that's one of the things we want to be considering all the time when we're there, is actually thinking about um, well, just how sustainable is tourism in, in, in the development that's happening in Tiamat. Because right? uh, certainly for environmental systems and for geographers, that's something we need to always keep in, uh, uh, keep in mind. Uh, and what do they do here in Molina to try and make sure that it's as sustainable as possible? Um, the, the, one of the nice things about it is that it's rather than, uh, as in other places where they just build a, a hotel and then cut down every single tree from all around it, uh, it's actually been built to try and keep, um, sort of keep the trees there. So actually when you go and see, see it from the beach, it does, you don't actually see much. Uh, and what you do see all, all around is that there's trees around. Okay, and it's built from local wood. So I put this one early, this, this slide early about safety and security, because this is obviously parents' main involvement, the main, the main thing they've, they've always asked in the past. Well, about you know, you're going to an island, it's off the mainland, you know, we're, we're going to be looking after your children for a few days. You know, what's safety going to be like? Um, so these different points are the, the, the good thing about Molina. There is that it is there's nothing around it. It's just by itself, and you've got to go down these steps to get to it. Like, uh, and it's there's also on this side there's a kind of um, this, this headland there. So people don't walk. It's, it's not like a through beach where people walk along that beach to get anywhere. Right. So there's, there's not people aren't walking along there. Uh, so, and, and right from the back, there's just they go up and then it's to a pathway. The pathway leads to denting. But the whole of that area, you know, we, we go and make sure that students stay within that boundary. They're kind of, it's, it's out of bounds to go beyond there. Um, there's a 24 hour CCTV, and, and the, 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 it is all lit up around there. Uh, so, uh, and, and all, all staff, all your staff are, are trained. They're, they're first aid trained. We, we're all as well we all have to go through first aid training because of uh, excursions so we're all trained but these guys will be trained more so and in terms of if there is anything does happen this, the resort does have its own speed boat uh, and it can get to the clinic so i mean certainly tekek um, which is the, the main town has grown a lot in recent years so the the, the facilities are, are more and more right. um, i mean we haven't had any Problems in the past, apart from maybe a little cut feet from coral, but just don't just know that that this is this is there. Right. Um, and importantly, like we we make sure that all you know we try and keep the any activities in small groups. Right. The and there will be with each of the groups. There's going to be a, a leader from Eco Field Trips as well as one of us. So I'll be with the geographers. So will be with the biologists, and, uh, and Ms. Caraday is going to be with the, the ESS. Uh, and the, in, this is an important one, the last one. You know, they, they make sure the, the food there is fantastic. Uh, it is very good. Um, certainly at the end of the day, when you've been out all day collecting data, uh, you, know, it can, it's, you get through it pretty quick. It's, kind of, it's very nice, the food. But they do make sure there's no nuts and seafood, and um, they, the, the actual... Um, the staff there, the cooking staff are fantastic, they're really good, and they will always kind of help you out as well. Um, so is, there, is there anything else for Rick? Well, just in terms of the food, uh, any other dietary requirements? Because we've worked with this resort for about you know, 15, 20 years now, uh, so we work very closely together. So any dietary requirements, such as, you know, we've seen it all over the years, so we'll cater for anything your, your children might have. So, it's, yeah, I think that covers uh, most of it. And if you've got any specific questions, obviously, you can always get them. Even if not today, but you come up with them later on, just get in touch with one of us and we'll find out or pass it on to, to Andrew. So, so on, on that first day, what, what we'll do is, um, uh, just, just so you know how the, the, what the sleeping arrangements are like, uh, it's, this is kind of how it is, more or less. Right? 
that uh, so you have the have, have the restaurant you're looking outwards there all around here are smaller um, there's some smaller and some bigger uh, dorms that split uh, kind of the girls on this way boys over this way so uh, uh, exactly how it works out not 100% certain that will be worked out later but so the girls will be over here and then be next to uh, where you'll be looking after girls and then here are boys over here and I'll be next to the boys generally how it is in the past right? um, and you know we, we we have set kind of lights out time and making sure that we can go around and keep them under control right? but they'll be tired they're so tired by the end of the day all they want to do is go to sleep <laughs> trust me right. um, the I said that, that this is kind of restaurant with a view it's fantastic it's like you're going to have breakfast there, looking out, um, and there's all, it's, uh, one thing: there's always water, like always water on demand, uh, and you need to be make sure you're filling up your water constantly. So that's one of the things we'll ask you: is make sure you bring a big, big bottle. Uh, the first thing we do when we get there is we, we'll have a, we'll have a snorkel. Uh, we're, we're just discussing it today. So we're going to be it, it's. Trying to make sure some of the, the methodology of uh, collecting data that we're going to do on another day, you have a practice of here. And right out in front of, of Melina, there is a fan, is a really is a great reef right, with lots and lots of uh, fish and corals. Nice. Um, it, on other days, there'll be some days which are going to be. Depending on what you do, whether you're just geography or you, your biology and geography, there will be specific days. So, so there's going to be some days in which we may all be together looking at, at different ecosystems. And then there'll be a geography day whereby we'll go off and, and look at coral, in particular look at coral health. And then there'll be days in which if you're doing biology, you can then um, go and collect your data on the next day. Right. So it's, it'll all be so that certainly you can get data for the for your your geography IA, and then data for your um, biology IA. And if you're just doing one or the other, okay, you just have more time in which to do one. You'll have to just work a bit faster in geography or biology. So, um, in geography, this is this is the main focus of the coral reef health. But we would look at, at, at coasts. We're going to like try and keep an eye on coastal management and certainly look at conflicts in the area. What conflicts are there in, in the area between, say, fishermen, tourists, hotels, ecologists, etc. Uh, and in particular, for, we'll look at sustainability. This is um, one of the, it's, it's kind of, I don't know if it's still there, from last year, as you go from Paya um, a bit further up. The problem with for Tierman is that it's sometimes maybe it's developed too quickly, and they don't have the ability to deal with the like the waste from tourism. Like um, that, that's just kind of rubbish thrown on the beach because there's an, or burned. They just don't burn the rubbish on the beach because there's no uh, there's no kind of real waste collection. Right. So ESS and biology, you, you can get data in mangroves, uh, whether it's looking at um, the, the roots, looking at crabs, it's up to yeah. the ESS and biology is what you're saying. Yeah. Can you give you a list um, in the next couple of weeks of all the different kind of topics that you've been doing and how you're within? Can you give us some ideas? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a, another one you've done in the past. I think kind of looking at primary and secondary rainforests. Um, this is uh, that one that's looking at, at a coastal ecosystem. Again, just, I think that this on this one here is looking at a transect um, on rocky shore, just uh, looking for anemones and whatever. I'm not certain. Oh, there's 
That's zonation patterns. That's the ESS and, and biology. Right. Um, for everyone, though, I, you know, one of the things just to consider there, as I mentioned, is just how sustainable is tourism there. That's very kind of more geography and ESS specific, but certainly something that biologists need to be aware of as well. Like, yeah. yeah. So this is kind of why it's it's not just about IA. It's it's also a kind of a, a, a case study that you can actually visualize, and it makes it so much easier when you when you are writing an exam question, and they ask you about coastal management. They ask you about the sustainability of tourism, as we know, you go, well, in this particular case, study, and you, you, you don't even have to revise it, because it's in your, you, know, it's, it's, you can utilize your memory, you've seen it all. Right? So building up your own case study from what you've seen is going to be very useful. Right. Uh, in the evenings, uh, and we will give you a certain amount of time also to, to follow up, you're going to, we need to kind of get all the data you've got together. There, there are classrooms there, um, and it's yeah, you can you can do plenty enough together. Right? In so the assessments there, I think we put that before how much it's all worth. Uh, one of the things about is, is everyone will want to know is what about the the internet connection? Uh, I'll just tell you from now, unless it's got any better, uh, Tierman is not great for internet. Connection. Right? So I know it's. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> there, it is unreliable, however, kind of we will have perhaps access to through roaming to be able to send messages every day to school and with some pictures and be able to say how how, how everyone's getting on. But it's certainly not, and, and it, you know, it might be kind of quite refreshing. To not have easy access to Facebook, not have easy access to social media. Um, yeah, you, it's yeah, you, it, it's no. It's it, that's the, the that's the first stress that people have when they get there. Like everyone's rushing to find out. I mean, there there is a password, but with sixty people trying to get on the same time, I can guarantee that it's not going to happen. Right, so. You know, you, you just have to put, I think, kind of four days without being able to really have access to the outside world. I think for some of us of a certain age, we remember that <laughs> and, and we're still alive. Yeah. So, it's, but, you know, some people can and will, you can get roaming if you really want it to pay the extortion. Of so, I so said that's just, just uh, if, if you take more than one subject, um, so there's going to be core days for, for each specific subject that, that they have to, to go to. Uh, and, but we'll kind of advise. Uh, what to bring? Uh, uh, we'll kind of like tell you a bit more on the day. You know, or like, not on the day, week, the week before. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably quite useful to know. Now, th this is actually uh, kind of a... This is a, this is a the last time I had a, there's all sorts of things you had to bring, but then you kind of realized you don't need to bring everything, but these are the essentials. Um, they kind of make sense. You don't need to, um, it's not the kind of place to bring your high heels or anything like kind of, it's, it, you know, you're, you're going to get dirty, right? But, so lots of t-shirts, so it be very smelly. Right? Uh, knee length shorts, I actually wear a kind of also a pair of lightweight Long ones, um, more for if I'm going. It depends on what day I'm going. If I'm going into the rainforest, I'll probably wear some longer ones. Right. Um, and definitely, kind of walking shoes or, or kind of good good trainers, not not the kind of like little little plimsolls because well, um, the, uh, with that wet shoes, old lightweight trainers. That's really for when you um, were going out in the coral. Then you do have wet shoes, a, a number of them at the school, at the, the, the centre, but yeah. you know, it depends if you want to put your feet in ones that have been worn by hundreds and hundreds of others. You can't guarantee right. sizes either. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. It's up to you. I, I tend to bring mine. The cap on some of them. Yeah. But, 
apart from that, the other things, sunscreen, and, and that, that water bottle is the important one. Um, a soft, small luggage bag, again, not a big, big uh, one wheelie really and everything, because we've got to get them onto the boat and then onto a bus. And so, small packing. All right. No shopping. There's no shops there. No. Okay, and, and if you want to know more, so those are our, you know, you can get in touch with us anytime. There's plenty of time between now and, and then, but it will come quickly, especially with everything that you've got coming up. Exams, blah, blah, extended essay, etc. Right. So on, the, on that little note, on, the, on my, my other jobs, extended essay, I recommend getting extended essay out of the way before doing these, because next term you will have lots of internal assessments, not just from us, but from others. Right. So you, you, know, you, don't, you want to not let it pile up. Utilize this time now you have between now or after exams and the end of the summer holidays to do your extended essay. But saying that as well, we use our time effectively whilst we're in school and we can really push onto the first draft of the year. So we can get the majority of the work that we did to collection in that yeah. in the evening there yeah. as well. And we offer support in that with the practical yeah. field talk as well. We'll do some stack sessions with you so that we can run your practice mm -hmm. which is allowed to do so. Yeah. It's really valuable. So I know that kind of within within business and ESS, so it's 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 a place where you you can do your IA and get data. Right? The, the importance is is that as Mrs. Lee said, you can get it all done. You've got it in that week. You can just have one thing all done, rather than have to worry about it and fit it into your own timetable. So you just kind of can get the data. You can ask these guys. They can help you. Any kind of anomalies you get, they'll help you explain them rather than yeah, doing it by yourself in Singapore. So, all right. Okay, if you've got any, for, any questions for us or these guys, please ask now. Yes. I mean, it's 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 Malaysia, so so yeah. I mean, and and it's you know it's 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 very Malaysian. Yeah, so we, how many? Uh, it's going to be between fifty and sixty, which will be yeah. You know, it's uh, so that's that's what I'd say. So we we would have. I mean, it'd be at least six. So it'd be like one to ten in terms of the. Ratio, um, but you know, the, so you guys have taken groups of sixty before. And oh yeah, so on the on the map that Mr. Tank showed you, um, actually more rooms have been built on the left. Uh, if you go back to yeah, so yeah, this is twenty fourteen. Yeah, so on the if you go from Reef Shark the left, about six or seven huge new chalets have been built. Um, oh. So there's lots of space. So I think the biggest we've got coming up this year is about one hundred and ten. Students uh, at once. So, yeah, we're used to dealing with big numbers of students at once. No problem. Okay. And, the, and these are, will all be grade, grade 11, sensible. I'm sorry, when you go with 110, has it been what age groups? Oh, the IB. Yeah, all IB, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Or oh, grade yeah, actually both, yeah. Grade 6 or IB. We both, we both this year. Yeah? So, so yeah. So, Lots of experience with with IB groups uh, from. So you went with UWC recently, yeah? Yes. So you, UWC with, with sixty biologists from UWC. Um, said you, you, I've been geography and ESS trips with you guys before, uh, and they've been they've been all very successful. So. Yeah. 